guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a show-stopping but super simple either starter or side dish or anything really for the holiday season or anytime really uh, around this time of year. It is my roasted acorn squash with peppery arugula and delicious crispy bacon. I love this combination and I cannot wait until you make it because you're going to love it too. Now the ingredients you'll need aside from arugula are handful, literally. You're going to need a beautiful acorn squash, which I'll talk about in just a minute, some bacon. This is some thick cut applewood smoked bacon. I've got a little bit of melted butter, some good maple syrup, and salt and pepper. So easy and simple. I have my oven preheated to 425. Take a baking sheet, lay it with some uh, aluminum foil because whenever you are cooking, um, anything that's got sugar or maple syrup or honey, it will burn. So you don't want to burn your baking sheet, so line it with some aluminum foil so that's done it out of the way. I'm also going to cook my bacon in the oven, but to do that, make sure you take a baking pan or a baking sheet or whatever that's got a rack over top of it. That way all the fat will kind of seep through and your bacon's not sort of swimming in its own fat. Can you see that? Now, I'm going to tell you, if you want to be like me, which is very naughty, and I probably don't suggest it, you want to save that bacon and just keep it in the fridge in a tightly sealed container and use a spoonful once in a while to fry up some potatoes. You don't even know, okay? You don't even know. But let's get started. This could not be easier. The first thing I'm going to do is mix together my butter and my maple syrup. This is going to be what I'm going to be basically brushing the... Um, squash with. This beautiful thing, aside from what a lot of people like to think, this is not just for decoration. I once made this years ago alongside some pork tenderloin and one of my friends was like, why are you cooking your fall decor? And I literally was like, what? They had no idea this was edible. It is indeed and it is incredible. All I'm going to do is cut this in half. Make sure you wash it and be careful when you cut this in half because it is quite, um, quite hard. You want to be very careful. Open it up like, how beautiful is that? I'm going to need to borrow the spoon. I'm just going to hollow out the center. Once you get them all sliced, I'm just going to pop them on my baking pan. And I just cut them in like thick slices. I would say maybe about half an inch or so thick. Don't get a ruler out. It's not that important. You just want them to be the same thickness so that it uh, roast evenly and so that some parts are not mushier than others but what's really important and what you need to remember is that when you're working with a squash like this where it's really hard you want to keep it as stable as possible so put put all your weight into that it's like I gotta work out <laughs> weak you take your butter and your maple mixture you brush both sides. Do not even think about leaving one side untouched because I want that beautiful, glossy, sugary sweetness on both sides. But so first you brush some of that on there, a little bit of pepper, and then the same thing on the other side. Don't forget your salt. You need a little saltiness, even though you're gonna get more, like a lot of saltiness from the bacon. I also want some here. Now flip this over, do exactly the same thing. Both sides are done. I also put my bacon on the baking pan, but I'm not gonna need to bake this right now. I don't need to roast this right now. I just wanna have that ready to show you. I'm gonna cover my uh, acorn squash with some foil. Now I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes, covered. After that, I am going to take off the foil and let it roast for an additional 15 minutes. And when it's got the 15 minutes left to go without the foil, that's when you pop the bacon in there as well at the last 15 minutes. That way it's all roasting together. And that way it's gonna get done at the same time as well. When you uncover it, give it a, you know, a turn. And when you keep it in there uncovered for that 15 minutes, give it a turn again because you want it to roast evenly. So I'm gonna pop this in there and I'll show you how to finish it off. This looks so yummy. Now you know I'm not gonna do anything perfect to this because that's just not how I roll. <laughs> I've also 
chopped up my bacon. And the reason why I like to use um, thick cut bacon instead of regular bacon, which of course you can, you don't have to use thick cut bacon, thick cut bacon, is because although I want some of the pieces to be crispy, I want it to be sort of thick enough so that when I eat it with the squash and the arugula, it kind of gives me, I, I, I want it to be more than a crispy, salty bite. I want it to be a part of the recipe. That's why I like to, oops, I like to use the um, thick cut because I just feel like it works better. But any bacon that you have on hand will do. That little bit of salty smokiness is just phenomenal. And then I just take some fresh baby arugula. You don't have to dress it or anything because you've got that glorious sort of maple buttery glaze on that squash that just makes it so good. And then I just take my, I did make a little bit more bacon than I needed because let's face it, a little bit of bacon's great, but a lot is better. And I also like to keep it for snacking on hand in the refrigerator. Or such as in this case, because you know, my girl's gonna have her treat. Mm, okay, I need a little bit of this because I need everything together and the skin comes off really easy when it's perfectly roasted. So you don't even have to worry about having to um, peel it separately or anything like that. I've got a bite of everything. Mm. That is so good. You don't even know. You should know. And if you go to LauraInKitchen.com, mm, you'll get the written recipe. And then you can make it for your holiday ta table or your get together and you'll love it. I promise. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.